Don the Window Cleaner here, and uh, I really can't help but discuss the tragedy that happened in Texas yesterday. And I wouldn't be except for the fact that I haven't heard anybody say uh, one of the most important things, well, no, the most important thing about it. I mean, there's a lot of discussion right now about, um, you know, what to do in an active shooter situation, how important it was if somebody had a gun. It would have been better if somebody inside had a gun to defend them. And uh, although those things are, you know, worthy of some discussion, I haven't heard discussion about the most important thing. I'm going to tell you right now the most important thing you can do to defend yourself in an active shooter situation, no matter where you are. Are you ready? Here it is. Make sure you're saved. What? Yeah, you know, Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believed in him would not perish, but have eternal life. Now, that doesn't mean that believing in Jesus will make you bulletproof, but it does mean it makes you immortal. So, you know, if you hear someday that, you know, Don was in church and, and someone came in and shot it up and, you know, Don died a grisly death, I just want you to know that you can also think, hmm, Don's in heaven right now and he's not unhappy about that. Yes, it is a tragedy. And it is certainly worth praying for the, the families of those people who are grieving, as well as the people who are still, you know, needing medical attention, because it sounds like the shooter shot everybody. But all kinds of weird speculation about, uh, you know, how it could have been prevented, or how those people voted, or, or any of these other silly things, uh, like uh, whether or not they were members of the NRA. All I know for sure is this, they're members of the FBC, First Baptist Church. And that means in all likelihood, they were believers in Jesus. And the people who died yesterday went to heaven. We don't know that for sure about them. We don't know about people's motivation for going to church, who was a visitor, who was just there hoping to hook up with somebody. I don't know. But in all likelihood, these are people whose faith and hope was in Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for their sins. So there you have it. I want you to share the heck out of this because this is something that is not being said. And I'd like you to make sure that you share it with your neighbors. Uh, something else to think about, you know, there are people saying, well, you know, it's you have moral obligation to uh, carry a concealed weapon so that you can defend your neighbor. Well, you know, it's even more important that we are carrying faith that is unconcealed for our neighbors because the best thing we could do for our neighbors is make sure that they're saved. You know, it's not just for me and you, but for those who don't believe. See, this would have been a much, much bigger tragedy um, if this shooting took place at the, you know, atheist meeting hall or something like that, uh, where people deny the truth about Jesus Christ. So, fortunately, the shooter didn't go there. And there were people who were ready to go to heaven. So, this is Don. You have a great day, and remember that you are immortal if you believe in Jesus. Thank you.